The great white continent of Antarctica has been awash in dazzling pink and plum hues, thanks to the afterglow effect of the Tonga eruption. Now, scientists say that aerosols from the Tonga eruption thrown into the stratosphere back in January are responsible for the volcanic twilight afterglows. Now, the unusually fiery skies that we're looking at here in Antarctica are seven months after the fact. These are recent pictures. And similar skies have been reported across New Zealand and Australia in the past month as well, which scientists put down to a spike in aerosols that were hurled up into the stratosphere following the Hunga Tonga Haipei volcanic eruption back in January. And you can see here, SO2 plus H2O gives you the plum hues, and SO2 and sulfate is the pinker hues. Now, scientists working in Antarctica reported the phenomenon to New Zealand's National Institute of Water and Atmospherics, or NIWA, after realizing the same thing was happening in the southernmost region of the world. Now, usually in midwinter, Antarctica is nearly continuously dark, except for a slight nautical twilight uh, around midday, which means the horizon is faintly visible in good conditions, according to Stuart Shaw, a science technician with Antarctica, New Zealand, who's stationed at Scott Base for the winter and who captured the stunning images we're looking at now of the blazing skies. And I quote, but this year we are presented with quite a show, which had most of the station personnel grabbing jackets and running outside with their cameras to look at the awesome colors, and awesome indeed. Believe it or not, these photos are not edited either. They're pretty much as the scientists saw them, according to Shaw, and it's incredible. Now, data from satellite LIDAR, a laser radar, shows there's an abundance of aerosols in the stratosphere. And it's directly above Antarctica, which were not there prior to the eruption of Honga Tonga, according to one of the team. Now, stratospheric aerosols can circulate the globe for months after a volcanic eruption, even years, scattering and bending light as the sun dips or rises below the horizon and creating a glow in the sky with hues of pink, blue, purple, and violet. Beautiful. Now, these volcanic twilights are known as afterglows, with the color and intensity dependent on the amount of haze and cloudiness along the path of light reaching the stratosphere. Now, while Antarctica is roughly 7,000 kilometers from Tonga, it shares the same southern hemisphere skies. And that's fantastic. Now, another thing that these afterglows can do, when you put ash and sulfuric acid up into the stratosphere, less sunlight reaches the surface of the Earth, and it can create a cooling effect. And in fact, the Honga Tonga Haipei eruption is one of the largest eruptions in modern history, certainly the highest blast ever witnessed. And with these, well, reports directly from Antarctica, New Zealand, and Australia, we can clearly see the aerosols are still up there and affecting the temperature on the planet. Now, since the Honga Tonga Haipei eruption, the temperature on Earth has dropped about 0.15 degrees C. And the temperature on Earth has come down over a half a degree C since 2016. So there's definitely cooling going on. Whether we can blame it on Honga Tonga Haipei or not won't be conclusive for several years. But more evidence is afoot. Not only is the Earth getting cooler based on satellite data from the Temperature of the global lower atmosphere here, we can see we're just 0 0.06 degrees C above baseline on the 30, 40 year average. And we've actually dropped since the eruption 0.15 degrees C. 
But Alice Springs is freezing through the longest streak of sub-zero days ever on record, and that's in Australia. Temperatures have dropped below freezing for 12 consecutive mornings in one of the hottest places on Earth. That's like Death Valley freezing for weeks. It just doesn't happen. But when you get a large enough eruption, well, you get the afterglow. And it's all because of the boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Hope you got something out of the video. Please become a Patreon and support the work we do. Be a hero and share the video. And we love you. Be safe.